today i will discuss temperate cyclones temperate cyclones is a little bigger topic than tropical cyclones however once we finish the temperate cyclones we have to compare the tropical temperate most of the questions in upsc mains is about comparison they very they rarely ask you about uh, what is tropical cyclone they always ask you to compare temperate tropical cyclones also within temperate cyclone there are many small small concepts in the mains also for example in some mains 2016 or 15 they ask about what are fronts how are they created it is a topic inside the temperate cyclones they won't ask anti temperate cyclones then almost 10 to 20 times in the last 6 years they ask about uh, what are the major differences between temperate tropical cyclones compare them contrast them or what are the difference in the features Ca those kind of questions will come so keep that in the mind from plumes point of view temperate cyclone they can only ask you about the location of temperate cyclones on the earth at which places cyc temperate occur what is the direction those questions will come i mean map pointing based questions will come i mean identification locations will come conceptual questions rarely they ask in the prelims for uh, uh, temperate cyclones okay so friends cyclones are divided into two types if this equator tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn this area is called tropical region so cyclones occurring in that region 30 degrees not 23 and half exactly 30 to 30 we mostly call it as uh, tropical cyclones because there is tropical area okay <coughs> tropical cyclones then friends the cyclones that occur in the temperate area even in the polar area also they occur polar area also so the cyclone occurring in these areas are called as extra tropical extra means outside the tropical other than tropical any other area is called extra tropical so extra tropical cyclones or you can even call them as temperate because they occur in temperate areas above the subtropics we have temperate above that we have polar mostly occur in temperate areas only polar areas rarely they occur so so there are the two types of cyclones which are important means which are there so in that i have discussed already about the tropical cyclones we have discussed about that because that is very important for india because india we get only tropical cyclones so we should study more about tropical cyclones but i may revise it towards the end i will revise quickly tropical cyclones but remember the exact occurrence of tropical cyclones 100% is not known to anyone some 80 90% they know some scientists tell some reasons some some other scientists tell some other reasons so we have to mix all the reasons write the answer exactly you cannot write only one thinkers one scientist reasons you cannot write okay now let us come to temperate cyclones friends temperate cyclones occur because of fronts fronts first of all what are fronts before fronts let me tell you what is cyclone basically cyclone means if there is a low pressure area if there is a low pressure area at a place all the winds will come and try to occupy the low pressure area winds always come towards low pressure area so winds will come from all directions to the low pressure area but because of the coriolis force direction of the wind will change any wind either in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere never blows in a straight line it always curves for example in the northern hemisphere any wind that is moving will move towards its right side right hand side with coriolis force any wind moving in the southern hemisphere not only wind any moving object it can be aeroplanes missiles anything okay so it moves towards its yes. left hand side so in that way all the wind which is trying to occupy the low pressure area will move away for example this will move towards right side let us say this let us say this is northern hemisphere let us say i am drawing this low pressure area somewhere in india or somewhere in canada okay northern hemisphere so it moves towards its right hand side which side right hand side this one will this one will right hand this one so they can they actually can never occupy the all right hand side so see right hand side right so finally it becomes like this see what is this direction anti clockwise so cyclones always move in anti clockwise directions in the northern hemisphere 
whereas in southern hemisphere if you take a low pressure area low pressure area all the winds will try to occupy the low pressure area in southern hemisphere because of coriolis force they move towards their left hand side here left hand side here here so finally see they move like this so this is clockwise so in southern hemisphere cyclones uh, cyclones are nothing but circulatory movement of the winds around a low pressure area circulatory movement of winds around a low pressure area in the clockwise direction in southern hemisphere and anti clockwise direction in southern hemisphere this is the definition of cyclone which you can write in your own language you don't need to buy at it okay that is cyclone but at the equator for example at the equator there is a low pressure area due to some reasons then whatever winds are coming what happens they will directly go in low pressure area when the winds go in low pressure area low pressure area will be eliminated once eliminated there is no cyclone that's why cyclones never occur in which of the following regions option a equator option b polar area option the subtropical area option for deserts deserts is actually over action they they mention those kind of things so that the student now who do not know the concept north pole pole equator tropics is one type desert is different so they mark desert for that only they give us that's why in upsc when you look at the option if an option is very different no general don't mark it here it is easy the question i gave is easy but some questions will be unknown there automatic eliminate the optional other option remaining three you have to think about okay and actually environment is a area where you can guess most of the prelims questions environment i'll tell you uh, we'll discuss environment last five years question paper sometime remain me okay now so friends that is about cyclone you understood the cyclone now we will see how is temperate cyclone formed okay see temperate cyclone is formed because of fronts what are fronts fronts are nothing but when two contrasting air masses what is an air mass friends air mass i will take a class separate is a 20 minutes general remember air mass means a huge volume of air hundreds of kilometers uh, horizontally hundreds of kilometers or tens of kilometers or hundreds vertically some 2 3 kilometers maximum 3 kilometers but horizontal hundreds of kilometers a big volume of air flowing in a specified direction and all that air having same humidity temperature uniform property this much air is there here temperature 20 here 30 not like that entire air having same temperature uniform temperature uniform pressure uniform humidity such kind of big air mass when it is flowing in direction is called air mass okay air mass is a very interesting topic for optional students which I'll, I'll discuss later okay now when there are two air masses colliding with each other collision and they should be contrasting air masses contrasting means different for example if this air mass is hot this should be cool if this is dry this should be correct if this is dry dry means there is no water vapor no humidity this should be humid, humid. there should be some humidity in that if this is heavy heavy wind this should be normally cool is heavy only no warm is light light if this has high this has high pressure this should have low pressure like that differences means if this is blowing in this direction it has blowing in this direction means contrasting air masses not not similar air masses when two contrasting air masses collide along a line very important they should collide along a line not along a point for example if an air mass is coming like this and the air mass is coming like this then they collide at a point that will not give rise to fault they should collide along a line the line also should not be horizontal should not be vertical it should be inclined inclined line which we have to draw three dimensionally three dimensionally okay this is this is the earth no earth the line should not be parallel to earth, should not be vertical to earth, it should be inclined to earth. That is also very important thing. Inclined, the line should be inclined. And there should be contrasting air masses. Air masses which are contrasting. 
they should collide in opposite directions. There are conditions, you should know these conditions. All conditions are very important. For example, take a question, which of the, under which of the following cases, frontogenesis occurs? Frontogenesis means uh, formation of front occurs. Option A, not option A, point one, point one, Similar air masses, point two, colliding at a point, colliding at a point, number three, perpendicular to earth, colliding perpendicular to earth, like you. Now option A is only one and two, option B, none, option C, one, two, three, like that, like you. what is the answer? None. Like that. Generally, in prelims, a question, in prelims, if you ask question, the question will have a lot of points. Only when you know completely about the concept, you can answer the prelims question. So question will be like that. That's what I'm telling you. The various conditions of formation of fronts, they should be contrasting along a line and opposite directions, inclined, not horizontal to earth, not horizontal to earth. Okay? Under such conditions, what happens? Now observe carefully. Now comes the actual topic. When two contrasting air masses collide each other, the heavy, heavy air mass will try to go down. Light air mass rises up. When it goes to rise up now, this is called font. Font is a line. Font is a line or a zone also. Not, 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 not essentially a line only. Either line or zone. Font is a line or zone which separates two contrasting air masses. It separates. A heavy air mass, cold air mass coming. They both collided. When they collide, it will go like this. Warm goes up, cold comes out. Now when they go like this now, see the, here the line. This line which is separating the air masses. That line or zone is called a front. That is a front. So if somebody asks you what is a front, or in the mains examination, if they ask, if the question is, uh, what is a front, discuss its importance in the precipitation. The question will be like that. Fronts lead to cyclones, lead to rainfall. So while writing the answer, in the beginning you should mention, front is a line or zone separating two contrasting air masses which is formed when two contrasting air masses collide each other along inclined plane along a line right like that okay now yeah now you understood what is a front now Now, as you understood what is a front, let us discuss types of fronts, warm front, cold front, which is important, okay. As I told you, front is a line or a zone, whatever you want to take it. What is a warm front? Friends, warm front means a zone where, let us say, cold air is coming, warm air is coming like this. In this region, in the, along the warm front, warm air is more aggressive than the cold air. Warm front is a line along which warm air is more aggressive than the cold air. So warm air rises up like this, aggressive rises up. Cold air is not so, so aggressive. So I mean, in that in the region, at a place where cold air is not very <coughs> aggressive, where warm air is aggressive, such a place is called as uh, warm front. Then what is a cold front? Cold front means a line or a zone where cold air is more aggressive than the warm air. That means warm air is coming pleasantly, but cold air is so aggressive, it is coming very fast, it lift, it's lifting the warm air. Ultimately, warm air will lift it up. Whoever is aggressive, warm air will go up. But here, Cold air will come aggressively. There, warm air comes aggressively. That's the only difference. Okay, so this is called cold front. Cold front. This is called warm front. There are some small, small minor things which are not required. Example, stationary front. The, for example, but this is not useful for cyclone. Stationary front will never create cyclone. Stationary front means something. What happens? You know, warm is coming like this. Coming. This is earth. This is earth. Okay. Warm is coming like this, cold air coming like this, they are not colliding, just passing by each other. When they pass by the place where they, there is a font, no? that font is all separating warm air, cold air. See, this is a, see warm air is coming like this, cold air is coming like this, they both came like this, they both will pass like this, nothing will happen, no. 
But there is a zone between them, right? That zone is also called front, but use a uh, stationary front. It will not create a cyclone, okay? Warm air coming like this, cold air going like this. This is a front. Called stationary front because nothing will happen there. So, stationary fronts are not important for cyclones. Only warm front and cold front are important for cyclones. They will only create cyclones because they are only aggressive. They will only cause precipitation. Friends, precipitation will occur only when, can anybody tell me, when will you tell me, for precipitation to occur, for rainfall to occur, what is required? What is required? Water. Yeah, water. Water, okay. Clouds are required, clouds. Okay. For rainfall to occur, what is required? Clouds. For clouds to occur, what is important, Angela? For clouds to occur, what is important? Wind has to, air has to rise up. If air is there only, how can clouds form? Air has to rise up. When air rises up, it will cool down. When it cools down, it will condense and become become what? Clouds. Become clouds. So, in this case, as winds are moving like this, whatever, like this, they will not rise up. But in these two cases, they will rise up. As rises up, clouds will form, rainfall will be there. That's why I'm telling you stationary fronts will not lead to any kind of cyclone. You understood? Okay. Now friends, generally in a temperate cyclone, both fronts will be involved. Both because the entire region only one front cannot form no. Some places cold wind is strong, somewhere hot wind is stronger. Okay. So in a cyclone, there will be warm front and cold front. Both will be there. This is a cold front cold front this is the warm front will be there and in the cold front cold air is aggressive in the warm front warm air is warm air rises up warm air actually friend this this is called warm sector entire warm air rising up this is called cold sector entire cold air is coming down in the cold, this is a cold front. This is warm front. You understand? So, if you want to divide, if you want to look at the temperate cyclone completely, like a human body parts, a human body parts is hard. This is a lung, like that. Temperate cyclone, warm front, warm sector, cold front, cold sector. Four parts you can say. This is cold sector, warm sector, cold front, warm front. Four parts you can say like that. Okay. Now, this entire system is called as temperate cyclone. Temperate cyclone is a system of warm and cold fronts and warm and cold sectors. Now this one, when the cyclone, see, any cyclone friends will always keep moving. For example, recently what cyclone which has come? Gulab. Huh? Gulab. Gulab cyclone generated in which, which ocean? Bay of Bengal. Generated somewhere Bay of Bengal. Why it is coming to India? It can stay there only now. Why it is coming? Huh? Which moment? Which, which wind? Did I discuss planetary winds in the class? Planetary winds. Did I discuss that, uh, trade winds, westerlies? Discuss no. Tell me, India, on India, which kind of winds are there? Trade winds only, no. Sir, let me see. If this is Earth, no. In this region, trade winds will come. Right? In this region, westerlies. In this region, polar easterlies will come. Where is India? Mostly India is here. Here. So, in Bay of Bengal, cyclone occurs. In Bay of Bengal, if cyclone is being generated, the cyclone is pushed by whom? Pushed by? Trade winds into India. So, cyclones generated in the Bay of Bengal are coming to India because of the force, because of the push from where? Push from? Trade winds. So, northeast trade winds are the reason why Gulab or any other cyclone is coming to India. Otherwise, they will never come to India. They will play there and they will go. Okay? Now, similarly, temperate cyclones occur which area? Temperate area. So, here, here, temperate. Okay? Now, friends, these temperate cyclones are under the influence of which winds? Trade winds or westerlies? Westerlies. So, temperate cyclones, mostly they move from west to east. east. Tropical cyclones move from? That is the major difference actually. That is one important difference you should know. 
uh, when, I, when I discuss the difference between the tropical temperate, one difference is tropical cyclones mostly move from east to west. Temperate from west to east because of influence of westerlies. westerlies. Okay, you should know that. Okay. Now, uh, let us say this is the cyclone system. System is there. Friends, one more thing. One more thing. Tropical cyclone, which occurs in India and the Asian part, tropical cyclone, no? The circumference is small, maybe 300 kilometers or 200 kilometers. Tropical. But temperate cyclone, very big, almost 1500 kilometers to 2000 kilometers. Second important difference. Tropical cyclone, the circumference is less, maybe 300 kilometers, maximum, 500 km maximum. Temperate, temperate cyclone very big, circumference is bigger, okay. Now, but friends, another important difference, tropical cyclones, some of you might not have listened to my class, but tropical cyclones occur only in the oceans, tropical cyclones occur only in the oceans, not on the land. After occurring, after generating in the ocean, they will come to the land. That's why they are very powerful. Why are they powerful? Because as occur in the ocean, in the ocean there is more evaporation. More evaporation. Because, see friends, whenever there is evaporation, no, lot of water vapor comes out. That water vapor will have a lot of energy. What is the energy? Latent heat. Energy is there. Water vapor, water absorbs the heat energy, becomes water vapor. With the energy, it will go up. When it becomes cloud snow, it will release all the energy. So cyclones on the ocean, lot of water vapor comes up. When they form cloud snow, lot of energy will be released, high energy. Because of that, tropical cyclones are very strong, very powerful tropical cyclones. When they come onto the land, no, once they enter the land, no, tropical cyclones, they will become weak. They will stay for 2-3 days. But in the ocean, they can stay for 10, 20, 30, any time they can stay. Because in the ocean, continuous cloud formation is there. Continuous evaporation is there. On the land, where is the water on the land? There is no water, no evaporation, no energy. That's why tropical cyclones, after coming to India or any land, they will die. The genesis of tropical cyclone occurs because of evaporation in the ocean. But this is not like that. Temperate cyclone occurs because of fronts. Fronts can be anywhere. No need to be in the ocean or land, anywhere. That's why temperate, that's why tropical are powerful. That's the third important difference. They occur only on the ocean. They, these occur either on the land or on the ocean. Another difference is, they occur because of evaporation, those things. Here they occur mainly because of uh, fronts, frontogenesis. Friends, actually, fronto... You should understand differences, friend. Differences are important. Fronto, what is frontogenesis? What is frontolysis? <coughs> frontogenesis means creation of front. When two contrasting air mass come, when they heat, when they rise, the process is called frontogenesis. Frontolysis means after some time, cold air keeps coming down, warm air keeps going. After some time, all the warm air will go up, all the cold air will come here, complete over. Now all the cold air is here, all warm air is here. Now there is no more rising, no more aggression. When that situation occurs now, we call it as frontolysis. Lysis means death. Frontolysis means death of front, over now. Frontogenesis means creation of front. Frontolysis means death of the front. Why will front die? Why will death occur? Why? Because initially both airs are coming. They are hitting each other, rising up. After some time, completely cold air occupies the ground, warm air goes up, completely over, uh, completely dead. Then cyclone is also gone, no more cyclone. Okay? So these two also you should know. One more thing. Another difference you wrote, no? For, for, uh, these cyclones move to the east. Tropical move to the west. That is also important difference. Okay? Then, from now, another important difference I'll tell you. Have you ever been, when cyclone is coming, have you stood there and saw cyclone coming? See it once. It will be interesting. What happens, you know? For example, you are here. You are here. This one is you only, okay? Now, a cyclone, anti-clockwise now, is coming, it's coming, coming, it came, after coming. First, what I see, tropic, I'm, I'm telling you about tropical cyclone, will have a low pressure area. Along low pressure area, there are winds. Winds. 
or maybe a low pressure area around which winds are there. Now this from here to here we call it as I of the cyclone, cyclone I, the low pressure I. The surrounding is called as, entire thing is called as cyclonic wall. Okay. Now when it comes now, if you are standing here, first what will come? Wall will come. Do you know what happens in the wall? In the wall, there is uh, high rotatory motion in the wall. Because of that, whatever clouds are forming, those clouds are pushed outside or inside only? Outside. Centrifugal force. Just like washing machine. Washing machine put the clothes, start rotating it. Clothes will be thrown out, but it cannot come out because machine is there now. Other will come out. But clouds, in cyclone, clouds are thrown out. So outside clouds will be there. Outside. So when system is coming towards you, enter system, the tropical cyclone system. When it comes to you, first what will come? Clouds will come. Clouds. Rainfall will be there. After some time, what will come? Wall. Wall will have powerful wind. When cyclone comes now, trees will be uprooted. Buildings will move. It's a strong cyclone. So winds will come. After wind, sometime what will come? I. When I comes, it will be calm. Nothing will be there. In the eye, nothing will be there. Again, after some time, what will come? Wall. Again, it will be powerful winds. After that, clouds. Then over. After that, no cyclone. Cyclone will not come back again. After going like this, again, it will come back. It keeps on coming back, then you are gone. Okay? Then see. So, friend, however, rainfall, winds, calm. Winds, rainfall is a process generally. But here, weather is not really changing. Either rainfall is there or not, that's all. But weather is not changing. Cold weather, hot weather, like the temperature is not changing. Weather is changing, precipitation is changing, but temperature is not changing. Is temperature changing? Not changing, you know. Same temperature. Rainfall, change. Once rainfall, and then no rainfall. But, but in the temperate cyclonic system, when the temperate cyclone is coming towards you, you stand here, close your eyes, observe how it changes, okay? Four types of weather will come. Four types of weather will be observed at any point. For example, tell me the cyclones move from west to east, east to west, you only. Cyclone moves towards east or towards west? Mostly towards east only. Mostly. Sometimes, uh, sometimes cyclone occurs here, no? Polar winds may move them towards west, but mostly east only. Now, somebody is standing here. First what will come? First what will come? Warm front will come. Then warm sector. Then cold front. Then cold sector or wind, whatever. So there are four. Now the question, now this is a very important topic in entire tropical cyclone. This is very important. First what will come? Warm front. First warm front will come. When the warm front comes, when the warm front comes, what will be the weather condition? See, in the warm front, observe carefully, the warm wind will rise up aggressively. As the warm rises up, the warm wind will spread. And as the warm rises up, it will cool down. Any wind, the rising up will cool down. When it cools down, water forms? Clouds. Clouds will be formed in a large area, almost 10, 20 kilometers, large area. I don't know numbers, I'm sending some number, okay? Almost 10, maybe 5 kilometers. Now, those clouds are formed at a great height. Did I tell you types of clouds? Types of clouds over for a class? Cirrus clouds, status clouds, over? Uh, so, any cloud forming at a great height is called as cirrus. Cirrus clouds. Now, these clouds will form in layers. Cirrostratus. So, either cirrus or cirrostratus clouds will form. Clouds will form. That too, they form on a large extent. They form on a large extent great height also that's why cirrus height height now they will lead to pleasant rainfall because clouds are far away well scattered pleasant rainfall for a for a large aerial extent the rainfall extent is large means rainfall will be there for almost several kilometers similarly they are gentle rain not heavy rains gentle rain that too for a long time gentle rain occurs for a long time. This is one kind of weather condition. Then after some time, the person is here. First warm front came. 
ஆஃப்டர் சம் டைம் ஹூ வில் கம் வார்ம் ஏர் வில் கம் வென் த வார்ம் செக்டார் கம்ஸ்னோ வென் த வார்ம் செக்டர் கம்ஸ்னோ தெர் இஸ் நோ ரெயின்ஃபால் பிகாஸ் வார்ம் ஃப்ரண்ட் மீன்ஸ் வாட் கோல்ட் விண்ட் இஸ் ஏர் வார்ம் விண்ட் இஸ் ஏர் இட் இல் ரைஸ் அப் க்ளவுட் ஃபில் ஃபார்ம் பட் வார்ம் செக்டார் மீன்ஸ் ஓன்லி வார்ம் விண்ட் இஸ் ஏர் நத்திங் இஸ் ஏர் வென் ஓன்லி வார்ம் விண்ட் இஸ் ஏர் தேர் இஸ் நோ ரெயின்ஃபால் நோ ரெயின்ஃபால் இட் இல் ப்ளசன்ட் த கண்டிஷன்ஸ் வில் பி ஹியூமிட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஹியூமிட் வார்ம் ஹியூமிட் இல் இல் ஃபீல் வெரி வார்ம் ஹியூமிட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் பட் நோ ரெயின்ஃபால் ஓகே தென் தேர்ட் வாட் கம்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் கோல்ட் when cold front comes friend cold front is a region where cold will will be very aggressive aggressive cold will come warm air rises up but as cold will comes aggressively warm air will rise up there only it will not go to great height warm air warm air is there only cold wind will come push the warm air or just rise up so all the clouds will form at a less height less altitude clouds will be here only but they are very thick clouds called as anybody tell me thick cloud yes cumulo nimbus cumulo means like cotton cotton wool cumulo nimbus nimbus means lot of water inside that and there is very short distance here only nearby and for a very uh, small air extinct only for some air will form so small aerial extinct and rainfall is very heavy heavy rainfall heavy downpour we call it heavy heavy downpour heavy downpour will be there for a very short time quickly the clouds will form all rain fall at single instance just half day one fourth day above 3 4 hours heavy heavy downpour in a very less time heavy downpour very less time small action cumulus cool clouds this is the weather conditions during the cold fronts then after few some time what will come cold 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 when the cold air comes it will shiver cold air no rainfall it will be shivering so you want the cold air to go away immediately it leads it, it actually is called cold wave in delhi and uh, north india in winter season some cold waves will come cool winds will come how will feel like that so this is the fourth weather condition after that cyclone will cyclone comes like it will pass away cyclone is over so when the cyc- on the temperate cyclone passes a point the point will observe four different weather conditions there are the four weather conditions okay that is about the temperate cyclone i'm going to temperate cyclone you know this is about the temperate cyclone this is about the tropical cyclone okay so if anybody asks differences one difference is for example what are the differences one difference is size one 300 that is 1500 and if direction this is mostly towards west that is more towards east another difference is speed this is very uh, this is very fast because of uh, more evaporation and difference is place of origin it will originate on the land on uh, the ocean that can be either on the land or on immaterial okay then what, what else there will be fronts for this is fronts here there are no fronts like you can tell for here here uh, uh, water vapor is the main here water vapor is the main uh, what water vapor condensation condensation is the main energy giver here energy giver is uh, fonts font itself like you can write something okay and most important difference you forgot they occur in the tropical area they occur in temperate area they occur in the tropical area they occur in temperate area this is another difference okay okay that, that is about the temperate cyclones friend and tropical cyclones also i think i told you know you want us to talk about cyclones in the ocean somewhere in the ocean due to some reasons low pressure is formed when low pressure is formed winds come from all directions to occupy the low pressure then they are rotating that is a temperate that is a tropical cyclone and this tropical cyclone will have a low pressure i thick walls and clouds will be thrown out and the energy comes from latent heat of condensation not evaporation Le- evaporation will take the energy condensation releases the energy so that energy release no that helps in so tropical cyclone gets energy from where latent heat of condensation that gives energy to tropical cyclone 
and cyclones never occur on the equator because cyclones most important factor is Coriolis force if there is no Coriolis force there is no cyclone tell me which cyclones are generally stronger Chennai cyclones or Orissa cyclones Orissa tell something if you, uh, Orissa why because I told you at equator Coriolis force is zero as you go up Coriolis force will keep on at polar area highest Coriolis force so if India is here here is Chennai here Orissa which will have more Coriolis force? Orissa. That's why Orissa only cyclones move at greater speed. Orissa. Super cyclones occur Orissa only. They move very fast. Okay? Friend, actually, what is Coriolis force? A constant into mass of the object into speed of the object into sin theta. The sin theta is the latitude. Latitude. Sin 0 is 0. It equal to 0. Sin 90 is 1. Highest. So, sin 0, 1, you know sin, right? Sin will increase with the angle. As latitude increases, this value increases. Even mass also. A heavy mass will deviate more because of more Coriolis force. Similarly, any object moving very fast now will deviate fast. Any object moving slowly will little only. Coriolis force depends upon the mass of the, for the missile is there. I have launched a missile. I launched a very small missile. For example, the missile I am launching from India to some other country there here, okay? Now, as a missile, it's a very small missile. If I want to target this point, I should focus on this point. I should focus on this point. Then, I will launch like this, towards this point. I will calculate. Calculation will be there. The missile launchers, they do a lot of calculations. Now, it will move towards the right hand side. So, it will move like this, see? Like this, at right this point. If it is a very big missile, I had to focus here. Because it will deviate more. Speed also. Coriolis force is a very important study in missile launching, aircraft, aircraft also. If you want to go to Russia, you should not go like this. You have to go like this. If you go like this, you will go to other country. Then again, it will come back to Russia. Okay? Now, so friends, that is about the tropical and temperate cyclones. Let us look at some important uh, regions in the world where tropical cyclone, temperate cyclones occur. Let us see important regions in the world, okay? <coughs> Listen. Africa, Saudi Arabia, Iran, India, Europe, Northern Europe, Australia, South America, Central America, North America, Alaska, Greenland, okay? Now friends, where is the equator? Equator is here. Here is here, Thailand. Thailand is here. Philippines, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, okay? Now, friends, in this area, there will not be any temperate cyclone. It will be there only above this place. Above that place, okay? Let's start from here. In the Mediterranean Sea, there will be temperate cyclones. Why? Because Some winds are flowing like this. The direction may change based on the season. Did I tell you about the Mediterranean region? Actually, why I am confused, you know. In Mediterranean region, sometimes northeast states will flow, sometimes westerlies will flow. Did I tell you that? Did I tell you the Mediterranean climate? No, no, Mediterranean climate. In the Mediterranean region, what happens, you know? Uh, did I tell you that the pressure belts of the world will shift? Along with the sun, they will shift. For example, see, take Earth, equ equator low pressure belt, equatorial low pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt, 
சப்போலார் லோ ப்ரெஷர் பெல்ட் போலார் ஓகே நோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் லோ ப்ரெஷர் பெல்ட் நோ வில் நாட் பி ஆல்வேஸ் ஆன் தி ஈக்குவேட்டர் ஓன்லி இன் த மார்ச் அண்ட் செப்டம்பர் இட் வில் பி ஈக்குவேட் பிகாஸ் சன் வேர் எவர் சன் இஸ் தோ சன் இஸ் அண்டர் த சன் ஓன்லி லோ ப்ரெஷர் வில் பி த லோ ப்ரெஷர் ஹை டெம்பரேச்சர் நோ ஸோ லோ ப்ரெஷர் ஓகே ஸோ இஃப் த சன் இஸ் மூவிங் ஆல் த பெல்ட்ஸ் வில் மூவ் ஸோ இந்த மந்த் ஆஃப் ஜூன் திஸ் இஸ் த மந்த் ஆஃப் மார்ச் இந்த the month of March. No, I am drawing the month of June. In June, in March, the sun is here. In June, the sun will be here. So, the equatorial low pressure belt will go here. This belt will go like this. This belt will go here. This belt will go here. This will be there only. It cannot go. If it goes here, it will go outside the earth. It cannot go. Okay? So, all the belts are moving. So, this is the Mediterranean region. Okay? Normally, this is the mediterranean region okay normally see in summer let us look at summer and winter in winter no in winter season no all the belts will move towards south in summer north so see as mediterranean region is here in the summer season as they will go like this which means will come north east trade will come in the winter season this belt will go here this belt will come here this belt will come here so mediterranean region will have which means westerly winds you understand friends these are trade easterly winds these are westerly again easterly so now when the entire belts are moving to the north mediterranean region will come under the influence of when the ent- when all the belts are moving to the north this also will good move to the north then mediterranean region will come under the influence of trade winds in summer season in summer season that's why in summer season in summer se- mediterranean region means this one friend actually mediterranean region means all this area mediterranean region so in summer season they will come under influence of trade winds trade is coming from which, which side east is a land or ocean land where winds are coming from land will there be rainfall no rainfall that's why mediterranean countries in summer season as trade winds will come from the land there is no rainfall in winter season which winds will blow westerlies. so westerlies are coming from ocean they will have water vapor so rainfall will be there that's why Mediterranean countries like Italy, Germany, uh, uh, Southern Germany, Switzerland, these countries, you know, in the winter season, they will come under the influence of westerlies. Because friends, in winter season, all the belts will move to south. So, westerlies will come down. So, this will come under the influence of westerlies. westerlies. Because of that, there will be rainfall. that's why they say mediterranean region will have winter rainfall summer dry you should know that mediterranean region will have winter rainfall, rainfall. summer dry it's a very important point for prelims several times ask, means they will not ask they asked in the prelims many times about the mediterranean region you should know see which of the following take a question which of the following are true regarding the weather conditions of mediterranean region is a question which of the following are true regarding the weather conditions of mediterranean region option a westerlies will blow westerlies will flow in summer season b there is rainfall or precipitation precipitation in summer season option c winds come from the land winds dry winds dry winds come from land in summer season dry winds come from the land summer season option d none of the what is the answer answer will be c answer is c because in summer season westerlies will not come no rainfall why dry winds will come that will come from the land is easy question only if you know the concept otherwise uh, you will confuse it. many p- students who by heart this climate regions so they will confuse it. i will take a class on climate regions of the world it comes towards and climate regions 
At the time, Mediterranean climate, equatorial climate, British Columbian climate are the three very important. Lot of climate things are there, but only these three will be asked in the UPSC many times. Mediterranean climate is the only thing. Now, British Columbian climate, I want one of you to tell me. British Columbia will be here, see. Here. British Columbia, that means British Columbia is a place in which country? British Columbia, place in Canada, not British, Canada. Once upon a time, Canada was ruled by British. You know that? Not only India, British ruled many countries. So, Canada was ruled by British now. At the time, they named. In Canada country, there is one state called British Columbia. One state is there. Okay? So, it is here, somewhere here. Tell me here, you tell me. Hey, Lord Homsi, you tell me, what is your forward name? Tell me, Homsi. Homsi only, no? Tell me, Homsi. British Columbia. I am telling you, I am talking about the Northern Hemisphere. In Northern Hemisphere, in summer seasons, all of it will move towards North. Winter season, South. Now tell me, in the summer season, British Columbia will come under the influence of which winds? Westerlies or polar westerlies? Westerlies, very good. In summer season, as everything moves to the North, this will come under the influence of westerlies. And westerlies come from ocean. So there is rainfall. This one, friend, this is British Columbia. Oh, sorry. This one, this is British Columbia. British Columbia is here. So in summer season, it will come under? So there will be rainfall. In winter season, when the belts move like this, then British Columbia will come under? Which means? Polar Easterlies. They will come from the polar area. So they are very cool. No water vapor in that. So very cool wind, no rainfall. No rainfall. So you tell me, British Columbia will have rainfall in summer or winter? Huh? Very good. Summer. Winter it will be no rainfall, but very cold winds will come. This is another climate. It's called British Columbian climatic region. Friend, British Columbia means not only British Columbia. Same thing you observe here. You can observe here also. Same thing. It will be there. Many places of the world. Many places of the world based on the movement of the wind. See, I'm to, uh, we can tell like that only for areas lying on this and this. For example, areas which are here, no, no change. Either move like this or like this, it will always be under the westerly zone. Areas here, you can take India. India always, South Asia. Of course, westerly will come in India, but that is a monsoon season. We will discuss later about monsoon season. Okay? So, only which are on the border, they will be influenced by the shifting of the pressure belts. Okay? So, anyhow, friends, in Mediterranean region, in Mediterranean region, cold winds will come from Europe, warm winds will go from Africa. In the Mediterranean Ocean, cold winds, because Europe is generally cool in winter season, but Africa is not so cool. Sahara is okay. So, uh, because near equator, no, near equator, not very cool. So, when the cold winds come from Europe, warm winds go from Africa, Africa, they both collide. Here, temperate cyclone will be generated, temperate cyclone. And this temperate cyclone will be pushed to India under westerlies. Not the lower at westerlies. Upper atmospheric westerly is called as jet streams. Friends, there is something called jet stream. Jet stream means also called as geostrophic winds. Jet stream is geostrophic winds. Friends, always remember geography. There are some winds on the ground. Exactly opposite direction winds will be there on the top. Like this. I have discussed it now. Cells. Discuss no. So, if the winds are coming here in this direction, on top it will be opposite direction. So, those westerlies, because in India generally easterlies will come now. So, you may get a doubt how westerlies is coming. Easterlies are coming in the lower atmosphere. The upper atmosphere also pushes up because this, is a temperate, this temperate, temperate cyclone, no, it has a great altitude. So, even upper atmosphere winds also will push it. So, they will come to India. So, once upon a time in films, there was a question. Which of the following does not occur in India? One of the options was see. Which of the following do not occur in India? Option A, tropical cyclone. Option B. I don't know exact question. I'm telling roughly I'm telling the question. Temperate cyclone. Option C. Polar cold winds. 
పోలార్ కోవిడ్ నుంచి బ్లిజెడ్ బ్లిజెడ్ అండ్ ఇస్ లెటర్ అబౌట్ దట్ బ్లిజెడ్ అండ్ ఇస్ లెటర్ బ్లిజెడ్ పోలార్ విల్ నాట్ కమ్ టు ఇండియా హూ విల్ స్టాప్ దెమ్ వెరీ గుడ్ హిమాలయస్ విల్ స్టాప్ అదర్వైజ్ ఈ ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ లో కోవిడ్ విల్ కమ్ లో హిమాలయ స్టాప్ దెమ్ ఆప్షన్ డి ఇస్ అన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ఆన్సర్ సమ్ పీపుల్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ డోంట్ ఐ యాక్చువల్ డోంట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్సర్ ఆల్సో బట్ సమ్ సమ్ వే ద క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ సమ్ మెనీ పీపుల్ మెన్షన్ టెంపర్ సైక్లోన్ బికాస్ దే ఫెల్ట్ దట్ ఇండియా ఇస్ ఎ ట్రాపికల్ కంట్రీ ట్రాపిక్ కంట్రీ హౌ కెన్ టెంపర్ టెంపరేట్ సైకిల్ అక్కడ ఇండియా ఇట్ అక్కర్స్ బట్ దట్ టెంపర్ సైక్లోన్ డస్ నాట్ జనరేట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఇట్ జనరేట్ ఇన్ మెడిటరేన్ రీజన్ ఇట్ విల్ పుష్ టు ఇండియా దట్స్ హౌ ఇండియా గెట్స్ జనరేషన్ వైజ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ట్రాపికల్ సైక్లోన్స్ ఓన్లీ ఓకే సో బట్ దట్ టు నాట్ ఎంటర్ ఇండియా ఫ్రెండ్ ఓన్లీ పంజాబ్ బీహార్ సమ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ యూపీ నార్త్ వెస్టర్న్ ఇండియా వీ కాల్ ఇట్ ఎస్ నార్త్ వెస్టర్న్ ఇండియా సో నార్త్ వెస్టర్న్ ఇండియా ఇన్ విచ్ సీజన్ విచ్ సీజన్ వింటర్ సీజన్ దట్స్ వై జనరల్ టెల్ మీ ఇన్ ఇండియా రైన్ ఫాల్ అక్కడ సమ్మర్ వింటర్ జనరలీ ఇండియా రైన్ ఫాల్ అక్కడ సమ్మర్ వింటర్ సమ్మర్ మే జూన్ జూలై దట్ టైమ్ రైన్ ఫాల్ అక్కడ జనవరి ఫిబ్రవరి రైన్ ఫాల్ నో రైన్ ఫాల్ ఓకే సో ఇండియా రైన్ ఫాల్ అక్కడ జనరల్ ఇన్ సమ్మర్ మే జూన్ జూలై ఆగస్ట్ లైక్ దట్ బట్ ఇన్ ద వింటర్ సీజన్ ఆల్సో దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ రైన్ ఫాల్ విచ్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ యూ షుడ్ యూ షుడ్ నో ఇట్ ఇన్ వింటర్ సీజన్ ఆల్సో దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ రైన్ ఫాల్ ఇన్ విచ్ స్టేట్స్ నార్త్ వెస్టర్న్ పంజాబ్ హర్యానా సమ్ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఉత్తరప్రదేశ్ వెస్ట్ దట్ దట్ ఏరియా వై హూ ఈస్ బ్రింగింగ్ ద రైన్ ఫాల్ హూ ఈస్ బ్రింగింగ్ ద రైన్ ఫాల్ టెంపరేట్ సైకిల్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ మెడ్రన్సీ దట్ బ్రింగ్స్ రైన్ ఫాల్ టు ఇండియా దట్ రైన్ ఫాల్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ అగ్రికల్చర్ విచ్ అగ్రికల్చర్ రబీ క్రాప్ వెరీ గుడ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా దెర్ ఆర్ త్రీ క్రాప్స్ ఖరీఫ్ క్రాప్ జూన్ జూలై ఆగస్ట్ సెప్టెంబర్ ఖరీఫ్ ఖరీఫ్ క్రాప్ డిసెంబర్ జనవరి ఫిబ్రవరి ఆర్ నవంబర్ డిసెంబర్ ఫిబ్రవరి అవి మార్చ్ అండ్ ఏప్రిల్ జాయిద్ క్రాప్ జాయిద్ క్రాప్ మీన్స్ మోస్ట్లీ ఫ్రూట్స్ అండ్ వెజిటేబుల్స్ మోస్ట్లీ రబీ మీన్స్ మోస్ట్లీ జోవర్ బాజ్రా వీట్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ ఖరీఫ్ మీన్స్ రైస్ కాటన్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియన్ ఇన్ ఇండియన్ అగ్రికల్చర్ లర్న్ ఆల్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ ఓకే నౌ ద పాయింట్ ఇస్ ఫ్రెండ్ in punjab haryana western uttar pradesh rabi crops are successful not only because of the ground water but because of the rainfall coming from the temperate cyclone coming to india in winter season from the mediterranean region because of influence of jet streams because of jet streams from mediterranean region champurad cyclone will come to india over northwestern india rainfall happen it gives uh, gives um, uh push to rabi crops rabi crops that is very important you should know these points so <coughs> temperate cyclone means not just studying temperate cyclone you should study application also how it impacts india how it comes to india which place of india it comes to how it affects in economy agriculture that all is important this comes under human geography physical geography is only about temperate cyclone how it formed as frontogenesis that is physical geography but application wise is very important these days they are asking i told you no films will ask you about location temperate cyclone which place of the world that is important okay now so friends i will tell you two places of the world in those two places tell me which place the fronts are very powerful fronts okay one is see the winds coming from here and winds coming from here these winds are continental why they are coming from the continent land these winds are maritime because coming from the ocean, ocean. maritime winds come from the ocean maritime they have more humidity water vapor continental winds come from the land they have less water vapor they are called dry continental winds are continental winds are dry maritime are humid humid then these winds are coming from the polar area so they are cold they are from the tropical area so they are warm. this is one wind you know here cyclone occurs this is one one important area of cyclone second important reason carefully the winds coming from here and winds coming from here here in the among these two which one is more powerful this one or this one e, a or b why yes more contrast 
here there is no contrast of uh, uh, humidity there may be some contrast temperature but no humidity <coughs> now another thing another thing winds coming from here winds coming from here this c a and c which is more powerful a c and b which is more powerful b is powerful because here there is no temperature difference here temperature is same only humidity is different here only temperature is different humidity is same here both are different understand so the more contrasting they are more different they are more powerful it will be more powerful it will be okay so friends this is one type of uh, uh, temperate cyclone another type another type another type so like that the different types types means continental continental ocean continental ocean ocean warm and cold both are cold and like that like that you can distribute divide them into many many types types okay friends today i finished with the topic of cyclones okay we will meet again next class with another topic okay this is very important you have to make notes of all these things all of these things will not be there in single place i mixed it from different places okay so you have to make notes of this see you bye